Welcome back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and we're very glad you're joining us again today. Today we are on location in Ojai, California, and we are seated with the author of this book, Five Wishes, Gay Hendricks. Gay is a psychologist by training, and he started something called the Hendricks Institute, which reaches out to thousands upon thousands of people across the world, helping them understand the nature of relationship, the nature of health and well-being. He's the author of many, many books. He's been with his wife on the Oprah Winfrey Show a number of times, and he has been a real leader in the field of relationship, of helping people get clear in their lives, of finding life purpose, and helping guide them with all of his writing and films at this point. So uh, gay can be found everywhere, just about, <laughs> including in his own office. Yep. Yeah. Great gay. Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you, too. I'm glad you're on the show. So, um, Five Wishes. Uh, this is actually a seminal piece for you because it tells the story of a major life transformation for you. Could it, you maybe just share a little of that with us? I sure could. Um, about 20-some, almost 30 years ago now, I went to a party one night that I really didn't want to go to. Were you about uh, three? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I was actually in my early 30s at the time. Wow. And um, I uh, was in the early stages of my relationship with Kathleen, now my yes. wife of 28 years. And, yes. Um, Mazel so, tov. Uh, thank you. It's a thank beautiful you. story. Thank you. And um, we went to a party that she kind of wanted to go to. She's more of a party person than I am, quite frankly. And mm -hmm. uh, But this particular party, one of the reasons I didn't want to go to it was it was to celebrate the engagement of a colleague of mine, another psychologist. And normally you would think, hey, that's something to celebrate, but right. this happened to be for his fifth marriage. And I had known him through marriages two, three, and four. <laughs> and uh, they all lasted about two years. And oh. they all, all had the uh, kind of the trajectory of the Titanic. They would set sail with great fanfare, you know, and then hit an iceberg oh and disappear. Right. And uh, so I thought, oh, so man, you said, another no, one. Another one, you know, why do I want to go out? It was a blustery, cold November night. And, in Colorado, uh, in no Colorado, less, right? And, but anyway, so we went to the party. Yeah. And... Um, in the course of the party, I wandered off into the library of this uh, house that it was at, and I was just leafing through books. In fact, it was pretty much a room like this, you know, <laughs> full of books and uh, the study of the house and so forth. And uh, so I was leafing through some books, just getting some quiet time, and a tall, bald fellow came in who was about 60 years of age, and uh, interestingly enough, about the age I am now. And um, so he... Um, and I struck up a conversation based on our mutual dislike for small talk. And he said, yeah, I can't stand the small talk that goes on at parties. So sure. that, that's why I'm back here. And I mm -hmm. said, and he said, well.